ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಚಾಕಲ್ಪತುರ್ವಶಿಪಾಸಿಂದುಪವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ವೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ತವತ್ತ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರಿಪತ್ರಶೋ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರುಣ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟುದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರುಂಚನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪುನದಾಲ್ಯಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪೋಧುಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕ್ಯಕಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶಿವಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಭದಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕ ಪಿತರೌ ಕಮಲಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರೌ ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧಾನ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದೀಪರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗು ಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ಸ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಶಂಭಿ ಪಂ ನಿಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 
Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Om Namo Paramahansa Rasa Sadito Charana Kamala Chidmakarandayo Bhakta Janamana Sanivasayo Sri Ramachandraya Namo Nama <coughs> Om Namo Bhagavati Paramahansara Sashadito Charana Kamala Chidmakarandayo Bhakta Janamana Sanivasayo Sri Ramachandraya Namo Nama Rama Viramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namami Aham Rama Viramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namami Aham Gorya Goshti Bhati Sri Sila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Jagapopad Jagat Guru told In the name of Hari Bhajan We cannot expect anything from Bhagavan in the name of Hari Bhajan, in the name of Hari Bhajan, Hari Seva, in the name of Guru Seva, we cannot expect something from Guru Des. We are not going to do any business with any motive, with any dirty motive. If I, if I start serving my Guru Pat Padma or Guru Vaishnav with any dirty motive, if I start serving Bhagavan, this is not actually seva. This is called business. That's why Pollad Maharaj told, no show. Vritto Shavoi Vanikaha. Parladma speaking, No Shavrittaha, Shavoi Vanikaha. Parladma speaking to Nishingadev, Bhagavan, if somebody is going to expect something from you in return, surely he is not devotee. He is businessman. We cannot expect any seva from that kind of businessman. Many times Pope are told, it is not my target. Many times, many times Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada Jagat Guru told, it is not our target to collect huge amount of money, position, everything. If we are running to collect money, position, everything, in that case, surely, we can ignore and dishonor Guru Vaishnava. Money, money, position, everything. Money, position, everything, not so important thing. Of course, Vaishnavi Patishtha is an important thing. It is not our target to collect money, position, everything. If we collect huge amount of money, position, then surely we can ignore and insult Guru Vaishnava. We cannot understand the gravity of Guru Vaishnava. We cannot understand the dignity of Guru Vaishnava. It's quite natural. It's a poor Vaishnava. No money, no foreign country, no foreign trip, no temple, no disciple, so useless. Of course. That's why Prabhupada told, I am not going to deposit money from you. <coughs> That's why Prabhupada told, Surely, I am not going to deposit huge amount of money from you. 
Surely I am not going to deposit huge amount of money from you all. Rather, I like to take loan from market, huge amount of loan from market to do Guru Vishnu Bhagavad Seva and to repay and to repay that loan you will have to go outside for begging Madhukuri Viksha. You can collect and repay the money. I am not going to deposit huge amount of money from you all to secure your life because anyway your life is insecure. I know you have money in your bank but still your life is insecure. Without the keeper of Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, our life is insecure, hundred percent. So, Baba speaking, I am not going to deposit huge amount of money for your security, for your safety, for your future. No, I cannot keep. You will have to depend upon the mercy of Bhagavan. If I keep money, you can depend upon money. You cannot depend upon Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan. I know you. I cannot deposit any money from you for your security, for your safety. Your safety is your bhakti. Your safety is your bhakti, ananda bhakti, unconditional bhakti. Rather, I like to take loan from market, huge amount of loan. And after I go away from this material world, to repay the loan, I can take loan, huge amount of loan from market here, there, to serve, to serve Guru Gauranga Gandharvika, Gridhari, Guru Vaishnava. And you will have to go, I cannot allow you to take rest in the room. You can lock your room and take rest, I cannot allow. I cannot allow you to take rest. You can go to a room and lock and take rest, I cannot allow. I can, I can engage you, I like to engage you in such a seva that you cannot get any even fraction of time to think about your own karma, krodha, loba, moha. Cannot get. I am so wicked personality. I am so wicked personality, I cannot give you rest. I like to engage you in Hari Seva all the time, 24 hours. Maybe you become angry with me. In the name of Hari Guru Vaishnav Seva, in the name of Hari Guru Vaishnav Seva, we cannot expect any thing from Guru Vaishnava. Well, I can do Guru Seva, provided Gurudev can give me something. Follow. One sannyasi from England, he was the disciple of some important, important in your sense, not my sense, Acharya, in Vrindavan Mathura maybe. He put condition in front of Gurudev, if you can, if you can make me Acharya, then I can stay. I can preach for you, otherwise I can go away. He kicked his Gurudev and gone and marry. This is our, this is our submission. I am speaking with very, very heavy heart. I have so many dirty experience in my life. But still, I like to speak Harikatha, Kirtan, everything. Though I know most of the people against me. And now my heart giving me permission to go away and do solitary version, how much I can, how long I can live, I don't know. I cannot find any positive response from public. So I'm foolish number one. I like to do something good. They are making politics, they are making meeting, they are criticizing me. They have fall down. So what use? 
I am trying my best to give their benefit. And they are, you know, calling all people to criticize me, speaking all rubbish. I am not, I never bother, but I think that I am going to arrange their good and they are going to arrange their bad. Most of the people are going to help. But it's the news. Even a single man I don't find who can say that I want absolute truth, I want nothing. Up to now, I find nothing, nobody. This is the condition. So, unconditional surrender is a very, very important thing. Unconditional surrender is a very, very important thing. Without understanding this unconditional surrender, even you cannot start Hari Bhajan. I cannot cheat you. Better I can stop my Harikatha. Inside my Harikatha can go away. Maybe in jungle, whatever, I can go to forest. But all the time Harikatha going on inside me. Maybe I am not speaking. I am not recording, not speaking. This can happen. Harikatha I cannot speak. So unconditional surrender is a very, very important thing. You cannot imagine what a big thing, what a big thing this unconditional surrender. I don't like to cheat you all. I don't like to cheat you all. What to do? How to proceed with my organization? And my organization means Prabhupada organization. The sloka I started with, the sloka I started with is very, very important sloka. The sloka I started with is very, very important so Try to hear over and again. Try to remember. Om Namo Bhagavate Paramahansa Rasa Sadito Charanakamala Chinmakarandayu Bhakta Janamana Sanivasayu Sri Ram Chandraya Namo Namaha. What do you understand? Om Namo Bhagavati Paramahansa Rasa Sadito Charanakamalo Chinmakarandayu Bhakta Janamana Sanivasayu Sri Ram Chandraya Namo Who writing this? First question, who writing this? Bala Maharaj, Parampuja Siddhar Gose, Siddhar Samipad. First question, on your behalf, first question, who writing this sloka? The answer is, Sila Siddhar Samipad. Who is the <laughs> Who is the first I mean, commentary writer of Bhagavatam? Siddha Sainipad. Now question can come, why he is going to glorify Ramchandra? Because we know he is uh, worshipping Krishna. He is going to... He is going to worship Krishna. Why is going to worship Ramchandra? Unnecessarily. Not unnecessarily. Before writing Bhagavad commentary, before writing Bhagavad commentary, before writing Bhagavad commentary, Sila Siddha Sahipad writing this sloka. Why writing? That is the question. Commentary on commentary. Don't understand. Commentary on commentary. What do you mean? Commentary written by Sila Siddha Sahibad on Bhagavatam. And on the basis of that commentary of Siddha Sahibad, another devotee writing commentary. I mean commentary on commentary. Follow. He wrote one commentary. <laughs> now, 
Nice commentary. He wanted to explain all the secret bhava of Siddha Saipat. What ordinary people cannot understand. Why Ramchandra? Why? What do you say? He is a, he is, Ishtadev is Krishna Chandra. Why is? That's why commentary on commentary. He is giving answer. The why is Siddha Swami going to glorify Ramchandra? What use? Whereas Ishtadev is Krishna Chandra. He is going to give answer. He is, he is going to give answer. He is going to give answer. What answer? But there are two, before writing commentary, before writing commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam, <laughs> before writing commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam, he wanted to take shelter of Ramchandra. Why? But the Ramchandra, hey, up! Before writing commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam, Siddha Saipat wanted to take shelter of Ramchandra. Why? He was thinking. Different avatar are there. Different avatar are there. But different avatar are there of Bhagavan. But who? But who among all avatar? wanted to make a bridge between India, Bharat and Sri Lanka. He was thinking, no avatar making any bridge. Construction of bridge. Bridging men, which is impossible to cross. I make one bridge, which is impossible to cross. You can go to Himalaya and different places. Kedanath, Badina, Jamunati, Gangati, you can find different bridge constructed by military man. Without bridge, you cannot cross this gulf or river. So Siddha Sai thinking, Siddha Sai thinking, he was the only avatar who can help us to make a bridge. What do you mean bridge? What do you mean by bridge? Well, Bhagavad is the ocean of rasa. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran is the ocean of rasa. No demigods, no Munirishi, nobody can get a you know, scope to cross over this ocean. Nobody can put guarantee. Because it is infinity ocean of rasa. Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahapurana is the infinity rasa of ocean. Ocean of rasa. So he is going to take shelter of Ramchandra. He was the only avatar of Krishna Chandra who can help me to make a bridge. I know it is impossible to compress Bhagavatam. It is impossible to get the extract of Srimad Bhagavatam. Impossible. So I take your shelter. So I like to take your shelter. You can help me to make a bridge so that I can explain Bhagavatam from the starting. Yanma dasu yatu sharta savigya sarad from this look up to Namo Sankirtanam Yasu Sarva Papa Pranasanam Pranamu Duksha Shamanam Tanuan. That is why Siddha Sai Bhad going to take shelter of Ramchandra. Really so. Not only that, not only that, not only that, not only that, but also Ramchandra can help us, Ramchandra can help us to learn, to learn dignity 
of devotee. Lamchandu can teach us the dignity of Rishi, Mani, Sadhu, Guru. Ramchandu can show us the way of Saranagati. Ramchandra can show us the way of humbleness. Not humbleness, extreme humbleness. Not humbleness, extreme humbleness. So one by one I like to discuss what is the what is the difference between Ramchandra and Krishna Chandra. Comparative statement, I can speak something. But I like to glorify Ramchandra. That is my target today. But comparative statement I can see. Bhagavan Ramchandra is Maryada Purushottama. Bhagavan Ramchandra is Maryada Purushottama. He is going to establish his you know, Maryada dignity. His character, his speech, his conduct, his behavior, all can prove the extreme dignity, which is impossible in other avatar. Now you can put question, Maharaj, what do you mean? Bhagavan Krishna no, no dignity? Yes. Now you can put question, why you speak like this? Ramchandra, Maryada Purushottama, he is going to establish dignity, of Guru Vaishnav Bhagavan, soft behavior, humble attitude, all everything, justice. So what do you mean? Bhagavan Sri Krishna I have nothing? Oh, you misunderstand me. You misunderstand me. I never told Bhagavan Sri Krishna nothing. On the contrary, I can prove, if you give me time, I can prove more than Ramchandra. Bhagavan Krishna Chandra has dignity, behavior, humbleness, justice, Leela, all Leela, excellency, all. Then why you speak about Ramchandra? I speak. I, I speak why? I speak the only reason you can catch the behavior of Ramchandra. You cannot catch the ambiguity. You cannot catch the dignity of Ram. Krishna Chandra. Very complicated. You can misunderstand Krishna Chandra. You can speak all rubbish against Krishna Chandra. But if you give me time, I can prove one by one. But I know common people, nobody can understand about the dignity and behavior, justice of Krishna Chandra. Sweetness, they can speak all rubbish. That why, that's why, as a standard, that's why as a standard in Shastra it is written that Ramchandra is Maryada Purushottama and Bhagavan Krishna Chandra is Leela Purushottama. Their predominating factor is Leela, to give enjoyment to devotees. Ananda Chinmaya and Leela. Anand Chinnamayalya Rasa Yevigra Ayo from Brahma Sangita. So in Brahma Sangita it is written, Bhagavan is always Ramcha Krishna Chandra is always busy with his Leela. He has predominating Ananda Chinnamaya Rasa Pratibhavitavi Stavir Jayeva Nijarupataya Kalavi. It is a slok from Brahma Sangita. It is document there. Bhagavan Krishna Chandra is less interested about anything. He is busy with Leela. Ramchandra is busy with justice, with dignity, with honor. Because this Leela is like this. One by one I can prove. So the answer is that. Common people can keep standard Ramchandra simply because it is very catchy, very simple. People can understand, well, Ramchandra is going to uh, marry one, one lady. It is authentic. Krishna Chandra is not authentic. 
Ramchandra authentic. One Sita Devi only one is good. Authentic. Kishacha no authenticity. That's why to establish Maryada Purushottam or Ramchandra, he was bound to do different kind of Leela. Even though Dandakarana Rishi, one forest Dandakarana in Andhra Pradesh and Orisha border, I've been there. I've been there. When Ramchandra was sent to exile, that's why Ramchandra traveling different places. Even Ramchandra came to Mamgachi. Bindavanda Chakur part, what is it? Mamgachi here. Yeah, he went. He went to our Mamgachi also. Ramchandra came. In Gorpurnima talkings, I already told. So Ramchandra traveling. So in course of his traveling, and when, while he was sent to exile, he went to Dandokarana. In Dandokarana, there were thousands of Rishimani. They wanted to Ramchandra, they wanted to embrace Ramchandra with, with some loveful mood. Follow. Like one hero, heroine, going to love hero, with this mood. All heroine, when like to embrace hero, like to kiss with this mood, all Dandakarana, Rishi Muni, they wanted to embrace Ramchandra. Ramchandra could realize because he is sitting inside heart as Paramatma, Super Soul. Ramchandra is now. With this kind of mood, with this kind of mood, this avatar, you cannot embrace me. Because I have taken resolution, I have taken resolution to marry only Sita Devi. I cannot exp Madhur Rasa, I cannot exchange with anybody. It's my resolution. So, you will have to wait for my next incarnation. So, you will have to wait for my next incarnation. When I can come, in the form of Krishna Chandra, Bahujana Vallava, then I can add so many lady, gopi, with whom I can love. Special Leela. When I, when I can come, when I can come in Dapar Yuga, when I can come in Dapar Yuga, in the form of Krishna Chandra, Leela Purushottam, only and only then, I can satisfy your demand. Not before that. Till then, you will have to do bhajan. After that, you will have to leave body and take birth in Vrindavan Dham, Prajadham as a gopi. Then I can embrace you, can kiss you. Not before that. Follow what I say. This way, this way to establish dignity, honesty, Authenticity, justice, morality, or Ramchandra come. One by one, I can go on explaining. One by one, I can go on explaining. First of all, people misunderstand. People think that there was some infighting inside the family of Dasarath Maharaj. In fighting. What kind of infighting? Dasaraji Maharaj gives some benediction to his second wife, second wife, three wife. Kaushalla, Koikei, and Sumitra. Three wives, na? Three wives. Kaushalla, Koikei, and ah, Sumitra. Three wives. Kaushala Nandan, I am in the son, I am in the son of Kaushala is Ramchandra. And the son of Koikei is Bharat. 
follow. And the son of Sumitra, Bara, Shut, uh, you know, Bari, Lakshman, Lakshman and Lakshman and Shatugna, Shatugna. Follow what I try to remember, don't forget. Dasaraji Maharaj, three, three wives, queen, three queens. First queen, first queen is Kaushalla. Second wife is Kwekei. Third wife is Sumitra. First wife from first wife, from first wife, Kaushalla, we can get Ramchandra. Second wife is called Kwekei. We can we are going to get Bharatji Maharaj. Third wife, Sumitra. Youngest wife, we are going to get Lakshman and Shatugna. Now one secret Siddhanta Vichar. Now, now one very secret Siddhanta Vichar is that, like Panchatatmatam Kishnam Bhakta Rupa Sarupam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakyam Namami Bhaktus. We speak now, Panchatatmatam Gauram. I mean Gauranga coming in five form. Gauranga, Gauranga coming in five form. Bhagavan himself, follow. Bhagavan himself, after that first expansion, Bhagavad Avatar, Bhagavad Sakti, Bhagavad Sakti and Bhakta Shakti. Try to remember, if you forget this, all you have to remember. Bhagavan, first Bhagavan, first expansion, Bhagavad Avatar. And now, our Advaita Gosai, first expansion is Nityananda, second Bhagavad Avatar, Advaita Gosai, Bhakta Shakti, Gadadhar Pandit, Bhakta Shakti, Bhakta Shakti, Shivas Pandit. Try to understand, don't forget. Panchatatmatakam Kishnam Bhakta Rupa Sarupakam Bhakta Avataram Bhakta Akhyam Namami Bhakta Shakti. Okay, na? In five form. Now you can say, I can worship Gauranga. I cannot worship Nithyananda. Or I can worship Gauranga. I, I cannot worship. I cannot worship. Sivas Pandit, you are idiot number one. If you like to worship Bhagavan, you have to worship all. Total paraphernalia. Bhagavan, Bhagavan Nam, Bhagavan Dham, Bhagavan Leela, Bhagavan paraphernalia, all everything, total Bhagavad Tattva. Bhagavad Tattva is complete Tattva. All together you will have to worship. If you throw Dham, ah, useless Dham, I cannot do, then you are then you are making mistake, aparat. Similarly, similarly, Sri Ramchandra coming in four form. Follow what I say. Similarly, Sri Ramchandra coming in four form. One is Sri Ramchandra, another is Bharat, another is Lakshman and Shatugna. All in four different form. Bhagavan Ramchandra coming, why coming? To manifest Lila. Two different kind of Lila, because Ram Lila is eternally present, Ram Lila is eternally present, Krishna Lila is also eternally present. Not that Ram Lila is first, Krishna Lila second, or Krishna Lila first, Ram Lila is not that. Eternally present in eternal world. Brahmani. Ramadi Lila, Ramadi, Ramadi, Ramadi Murti Lila Niyamena Tishtan. Follow this, 
sloka from Bhagav from Brahma Sangita. Ramadi Lila Murtisu Lila Nyameno Tishtam. This Lila, this sloka from Brahma Sangita. Bhagavan coming in different form, sometimes Ramchandra, sometimes Baraha, Nishingo, Krishna, Vivinu form Bhagavan coming. But all Vishnu Tattva is unique and excellent. All Vishnu Tattva is all unique and excellent. We cannot make any comparative saying it is low, it is high, and Nishingo Dev is low, or Parahadiv is low, Ramchand is high, cannot do it. It's offensive. Only diversity. But one important thing is there. Diversity is there. According to diversity, we can get Krishna avatar in different form. But Krishna is the original avatar. Krishna is the original avatar, na? And from Krishna, all other avatar coming. Baraha, Nishingo, Ramchandra, all, Kurma Dev, all coming from. So we have no right to make up and down. We cannot make Ra Ramchandra is uh, low, Baraha Dev is up, or Baraha Dev is low, Ramchandra is up, because Vishnu Tattva, all same. Ramadi Mirtusu Kala Niyamenatishtam. This sloka, if we discuss from Brahma Sangita, <coughs> there you can find Bhagavan coming in different form due to different avatar. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna is a Ishwaraha Paramakrishna Satchidananda Vigraha Anadi Radhi Govindu Sarvakaran. Kiram jatha vishash vikar vikar vishesh yoga sanjayate nahi tataha pitaka stetu ja sambhutam upi sambhuti karjat govinda madhi purusham tuma. Regarding sambhu, another sloka I saw, Ramadi murti sukala niyaminatishtan. This sloka I speak. So according to this sloka, we find Bhagavan time to time coming in this world to deliver people, Jivatma. So Bhagavan coming in this in the form of Ramchandra now. So see Ramchandra coming in four form to teach us. Ramchandra going to establish dignity. Ramchandra going to establish morality, authenticity, purity, all everything. Follow. Lakshman going to Lakshman going to establish unique seva mood. Lakshman is Balaram. Anantadev Sheshrag. Baladev Anantadev Baladev Anantadev Nitananda Baladev Anantadev coming in the form of Lakshman in Ramavatar. Now Lakshman is younger brother. Younger brother cannot fight with elder brother. So whatever Ramchandra is speaking, he is okay. Yes. Whenever Ramchandra do this, Lakshman, you take his. For 14 years, Fourteen years, Ramchandra was sent to exile. I can come to the point after. My point is that in fourteen years, in forest, Lakshman going to collect all fruits and flowers. After their offering to Ramchandra, Ramchandra giving to Sita Devi. Sita Devi going to offer some fruits and flowers, rest of the thing. Bhagavan Ramchandra giving to Lakshman. Lakshman, take it, take it. All fruits and flower. Lakshman, my brother, take it. Only speaking, take it. Not speaking, eat it. Not speaking, try to eat. Ramchandra, always speaking, take it. Lakshman, you take it. 
not speaking, eat it. That's why for 14 years, Lakshmanji was fasting. 14 years. Simply because Ramchandra not speaking, you eat it. Take it. Take it, take it. Take it. 14 years. Fasting. Lakshman wanted to establish the seva mood. But Lakshman means Balaram. Balaram means She Shankarshan. Naturally, original Guru Tattva. So, original Guru Chattra, Lakshman, wanted to establish Seva. Bharatji Maharaj wanted to establish love, love and dignity for Ramchandra. Shatugna was always ready to carry out any, any order, any time. Satugna. This way, in four different form, Bhagavan coming in this material world to teach us something. <coughs> Dasaraji, Maharaj, <coughs> Dasaraji Maharaj, actually not ordinary king. Dasaraji Maharaj, <coughs> Dasarji Maharaj is going to give benediction, kripa, to Koikei. Why? Well, look, someday Dasarji Maharaj was so sick, so sick, so sick, that Dasarji Maharaj was about to die. Dasarji Maharaj was about to die. That time, Koi, Koikei is going to serve. Koikei going to serve Dasarat, I mean king, husband, in such a way which is unparalleled, unbeaten. Follow. Dasaraji Maharaj develops, was very, very sick, not only sick, but also he, he developed power, bowels, you know, with full of black, black, bad, bad blood in the back side. Koike is going to Koike is going to put his face and he is sucking our blood blood and everything from the, to give relief to to Dasaraji Maharaj. He wanted to give relief to Dasaraji. He was to he to do sharp nursing, you know serving. This way, Dasaraji Maharaj was successful to come back from death. Then Dasaraji Maharaj, you know, speaking to Koikei, I bless you. You can demand three, you can demand three blessings from me. I like to give you three benediction. Three benediction. Koikei speaking well. According to time and circumstances, I can beg, not now. Try to understand. You like to give me three benediction, but right now I cannot remember. According to time and circumstances, I can ask for me. Okay. Though we know, Kaushalla Nandan is Ramchandra. Ramchandra is Kaushala Nandan, is like our Krishna Jashoda Nandan, Kaushala Nandan. Kaushala used to love Ramchandra so much. But it is written in Ramayan. Koikei, Koikei used to love Ramchandra more than his own son Bharat. You don't understand what I mean to say. Try to run with me, my, my feeling. Like those gopikas in Bhagavatam, I can show those gopikas, those gopikas, they used to love Krishna, Bal Krishna, more than their own respective son. You don't understand. 
all gopikas in Vrindavan, they used to love, love Krishna more than their own respective son. How it is possible? You are not putting, putting question to me. That is your shortage. But Parikhid Maharaj putting this question to Shukdev Goswami. Your Gurudev? It is impossible. What you are speaking? Usually all mother, they have that tremendous love for their own son. Not for, not for other. But why you are speaking this? Parikit Maharaj putting question to Sukhdeva Goswami. Maharaj, how you say strange? It is strange. Usually in this, in this world we see that always mother love his own son. Maybe a uh, son is layman. Maybe dump and dip. Oh, my baby is going to. Huh? But you say just opposite. They used to love Krishna Chanda more than their own respective son. How possible? Then, Shukadev Goswami giving answer. Just like the same answer, which is in Upanishad, many times I told. Atmava are drashtabhya satabhya nidhi dhashitabhya. Many times I told. You forget. You cannot remember. You cannot remember. You forget. Atmava are drashtabhya satabhya nidhi dhashitabhya. In relation to that Paramatma and Atma, in relation to that Paramatma, everybody loves each other. Follow. Don't understand. You love your son simply because Atma is there inside your son. You love your husband because Atma is there inside your husband. You love your friend because Atma is there inside your husband. Hey, friend. If, if the Atma shall going out of the body of your son, you can keep that son with you anymore? You can send to crematorium ground. Yes or not? Eh? You can send to crematorium ground within two hours, three hours, some jam can affect. But so long you used to take your boy into lab, into lab and used to kiss. Eh? Your son. Now you are going to commit under. So in Upanishad it is written, Shukdev Goswami speaking, Ho Rajan, everybody going to love each other. Everybody like going go, go, each and everybody going to love each other. Why? Because Atma is there. Who is Atma? Well, if Paramatma is not there, then what is the value of Atma? The answer is that. Bhagavan is there inside your heart. That's why I love you. You hearing Harikatha? If Atma is going away, who can? That's why? That's when I love your Atma. That's why? That's when I love your Atma. Not your body. I always think. So, Parikhid Maharaj putting this question. Shukdev Goswami giving answer. Now my question is that, why Kaushalla going to love Ramchandra more than his own son, Bharat? Bharat is also Ramangsa. I am not speaking Bharat is ordinary. But main point is that Ramchandra is a Supreme Lord. Bharat coming from Ramchandra. So naturally, if if your son is Ramchandra, if your son is Ramchandra, if my son is Bharat, then naturally I can love Ramchandra more than, because he is Supreme Lord. Follow what I say. Sure, there is some misconception. Sure, there is some misconception about Ramayan. We want to follow the Ramayan of Tulsidas. Don't misunderstand me. Raman actually written by Balmiki Muni. Ramayan originally <coughs> Ramayan originally written written Ramayan originally written by Balmiki Muni. Or I would say 
more precisely, I would say, Ramayan written by none. Ramayan written by none. It is eternally present. Try to understand. I can say, Ramayan is written by Balmiki Muni. Or I would say more precisely, Ramayan is written by nobody. Ramayan is eternally present. Balmiki Muni only, Balmiki Muni, Balmiki Muni watching the Leela, Balmiki Muni watching different Leela and writing. Watching Leela. Ramayan, Mahabharat, Bhagavaji eternally present. Now I can give one example. Why you Maharaj say, how and why? Maharaj, how and why you say that you like to follow Tulsidas Raman? Whereas Balmiki Muni writing Raman long ago, you like to follow, you like to follow Tulsidas Raman. Why? I like to follow Tulsidas Raman because Tulsidas Raman is very sweet. Very, very sweet. Why? Because originally it was written by Balmiki Muni. After that, Balmiki Muni, Balmiki Muni himself coming in the form of Tulsidas. Balmiki Muni watching Krishna Ram Lila. Balmiki watching Ram Lila and writing. Like our Basdev Ji writing Bhagavatam, watching. Vaisdev Ji Maharaj speaking Bhagavatam, watching, and Ganesh, Ganesh Ji Maharaj writing. Ganesh was the writer, file writer. Ganesh Ji Maharaj was the file writer. Vaisdev Maharaj speaking. So Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran, Ramayan, Mahabharata, all eternally present, no doubt. But it is externally written by written by Balmiki Muni. And that Balmiki Muni, and that Balmiki Muni, when coming in the form of Tulsidas Ji, you don't know. If I like to explain, it will take long time. Tulsidas Ji taking order. Tulsidas Ji getting order. Tulsidas Ji giving, Tulsidas Ji getting order. Tulsidas Ji getting inspiration to compile Ramayan. Because he is Basdev. Basdev coming in the. Basdev, no? He is actually Balmiki Muni. He is actually Balmiki Muni. He is coming in the form of. In the form of. Tulsidas. I have been there in the place of Tulsidas birthplace. To see that Bhajan Siddhi, all I went. Long ago, not now, now no time. Long ago, long, long, long ago. Now I have no time. So I can speak by the mercy of Ramchandra or as you know, Balmiki Muni or Tusidas. Tusidas ji getting inspiration to compile Ramayan in a very sweet way. Tusidaji going to Varanasi. Tusidaji going to Varanasi. Kashi Vishwanath. Kashi Vishwanath giving order. You can compile Ramayan. He started compiling Ramayan. He started compiling Ramayan. After writing, a writer going to write two page, three page, five page, two day, tomorrow, day after tomorrow, day, 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 day after tomorrow. This way writing. After that, come back. Tulsidas is going to write three or four page, bandhana everything. And in the morning time, again get up, pay Dandavat to Vishwanath, giving water, again going to open the file, but, but discover all previous file is vanished. He already wrote four five page yesterday, but when he opened the file, he find no writing, all, all erased, all vacant. This way, consecutively, 
this way consecutively for four five days tulsi das ji was fed up what happens what happens every day i am writing and every day i am writing every next day i discover the file is back in oh my god oh my god then he started crying and took shelter unto the lotus feet of kashi vishwanath हे विश्वनाथ हे विश्वनाथ प्लीज यू स्पीक मी वाई आई एम गिविंग दिस कैंड ऑफ पानिशमेंट वॉट इज योर मोटिव देन विश्वनाथ केम इन ड्रीम विश्वनाथ स्पीकिंग आई वॉन्ट यू राइट द रामायण इन अ वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज नॉट इन संस्कृत नॉट इन संस्कृत संस्कृत ऑलरेडी रिटिन संस्कृत संस्कृत रामायण ऑलरेडी रिटिन बाय वाल्मीकि मुनि Already it is asked, but I, it is my desire, it is my it is my desire that you can compile Ramayan in Moithili language, so that <coughs> so that layman can read, very very only can read something. Even cannot write. <coughs> All ordinary people can read. Raman and get advantage. Then Tulsi Das Ji writing some pranam mantra. After that started writing Ramayan in a very local language. Local, local language you know, like Hindi. Those who understand Hindi, they can read. Follow. One day. One day. Tulsi Das Ji. You know, one day. Tusidas ji doing bhajan in his bhajan kuti chitrakut. One day Tusidas ji doing bhajan in chitrakut. Water rolling down his cheeks and chandan flower garland he make. He is crying and crying heavily. He cannot remember that Ramchandra himself come himself coming in front of him. He is crying here and singing song and like to give garland to Ramchandra. He is crying because of separation from Ramchandra. But Ramchandra already present there. He is doing worship of photo, photo you know, photo of Ramchandra. <laughs> Ramchandra laughing. Ramchandra there. Tusi Das is sitting here. Ramchandra there. Ramchandra already come. After that, when by the mercy of Ramchandra, he can discover Ramchandra already already come to take Chandan and Tulsi, and Ma Garlan, then Tulsi Das Ji was bursted into tears. Tulsi Das Ji apply Chandan, Tulsi, and Garlan and Boga. Ramchandra was very happy. Long ago. Before this incident, Tulsi Das Ji used to go outside Dama. You cannot imagine. Tulsi Das Ji used to live in such a place in a Dama, so that he need to pass urine and stool. He can go cross the cross the border and go to out of Dama. Tulsi Das Ji used to live in such a place. so that he can go out of dama and pass urine and stool outside follow so much respect love long distance to say you are saying going to pass urine and you know a stool outside and every day i also used to go to field in vrindavan forest is to take one pot of water one torch one stick and going to forest night and 3 o'clock you can fear there is ghost there is dog there is jackal there is snake oh. even in dream you cannot imagine every day tulsi das ji after washing hand and everything leg the residue water residue water tulsi das ji used to throw 
in a booth. It was the usual system. Suppose to see that you going to pass urine and stool after coming back and going to with mud. We, we, it is the system now with mud. We are washing and we do kulla, taking bath. So every day in a pot, every day in a pot, some residue water. Tusidasji was habituated to throw in a bus. Bus. Everything done, the extra water used to throw in a bus. One day, one day from inside that bush, one ghost speaking. One day, one day from inside the bush, one ghost speaking. I'm very happy that every day you are giving water to me. Ah, who are you? I am ghost. To see the other speaking, who are you talking? I cannot see you. Actually, I am ghost. I am very satisfied with you. Because every day you are going to give residue water to my booth, there I am living. I am very getting satisfaction. I like to help you in your bhajan. You like to help me in your bhajan? Yes. How? You can give me Ramchandra. You can give me Ramchandra. I like to. I cannot give you Ramchandra because I am ghost. But I can give you the clue. I cannot give Ramchandra, but I can give you the clue how to get Ramchandra. That I can give. How, 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 how you speak? Then the ghost speaking. Every day you are going to attain Ramayan, one big sadhu. One big sadhu, every day reciting Ramayan. Yes or not? You going? Yes. To see that the speaking, yes. In the afternoon time, I am going to hear Raman. Yes. Every day you are going to hear Raman, na? From that big sadhu, elevated sadhu? Yes. So, so, there you can find one old man. After Harikata already started, that old man coming <coughs> and sitting this way. After the Harikata is over, immediately he is he paying Dhanabad and immediately going away. So, so, so what? So what? You can catch him. He is a leprosy disease in the body. Leprosy. He is a patient of leprosy patient. He is coming in a distant place, sitting here. And after Harikata is over, immediately he is going away. So, you can catch him. Who is he? He is actually Hanumanji Maharaj. Huh? Hanumanji Maharaj? Nobody knows. He is Hanuman. He is coming in the guise of leprosy disease. He is coming. You can catch him. Catch him. Lord has he can give. Oh, really? Ah. Today, watching Harikatha, hearing, watching one old and a leprosy disease coming. And, and a sitting in a very corner with, you know, shrugging the head. Hearing Raman with folded hand. After the Raman is over, he is going away. And Tulsidaji is running, running and running and catch the leg. Ah, you catch me. You throw me, throw me. I am a leprosy. I cannot throw you. I cannot leave you. I cannot leave you. Why, why, why you leave me? I am... No, you are... You are Hanumanji. No, no, I am not Hanuman. Now you know you are Hanuman. You are Hanuman. You, are to, you will have to arrange Ram Darshan. Crying and crying. When Tulsida was running and running to catch his lotus feet, nobody was there. Hanumanji appeared in the form and bless. Hanumanji appeared in his own form. Well, you can get Ram. After that, the incident I told. In Chittagut Parvat, Ra, you know, Tulsida ji rubbing Chandan and crying, how I can get Darshan of Ram? He got Darshan. Tulsidas ji started writing Ramayan, but in a local language. Local language Hindi, Hindi, Maithali. Very sweet. Very, very sweet. Because in because in Balmiki Ramayan, there is Siddhanta Vichar very. There is too much Siddhanta Vichar. Heart philosophy. Heart philosophy and too much Siddhanta Vichar. But in Tulsidas Raman, if you read, 
Even one small boy, even one small boy of 10 years, he can read and understand. That's why. Now I like to discuss something about Ramchandra because time, I like to speak so many things, but time cannot permit. If I don't discuss all this thing, that the discussion of Ramchandra is incomplete. <coughs> now, I like to give example. I am going to jump, because time cannot permit. <coughs> Kaushalla used to Ram Ramchandra more than Bharat, his own son, her own son. <coughs> I give already Siddhanta Vicha. But outside people speaking, Koikei is she is idiot number one. Koikei is idiot number one. Why Koikei going to beg for benediction from Dasarajim Maharaj according to time, time and circumstances? What benediction? Three benediction. Three benediction, na? Three benediction. One, one, you will have to make my son Bharat king. Because Dasarajji Maharaj wanted to take retirement. Dasarajji Maharaj wanted to take retirement. I wanted to you know, do Abhishek in his place. He wanted to establish Ramchandra. That is the elder, elder son. Dasarajji Maharaj wanted to retire. He wanted to place Ramchandra in his place. Follow what I say. In his place. Now, <coughs> Koike is speaking. First condition, benediction. You will have to make, you will have to make Parat, my son, king. Okay. Second, you will have to send, you will have to send Ramchandra into exile for 14 years. Fourteen years. El Hussein, exile. Follow what I say. This way, after hearing the demand of Koikei, Bharatji, after hearing the demand of Koikei, the Saraji Maharaj go faint, unconscious, fall down. He cannot live. Without Ramchandra, he cannot live. But the Saraji Maharaj anyway going to promise, na? I can give you three benediction. He promised already. So what to do? He is going to approve, okay. And Ramchandra, going to fulfill the desire of <coughs> himself. Ramchandra going to fulfill the desire of himself. I can clarify this point. Ramchandra very clever. Ramchandra going to clarify this point very, very clear. He wanted to satisfy his own desire. How? Actually, it is called got up case. It is called got up case. Got up case, got up. Like in football game, two parties supposed to come. One party takes some money from another party. You can reach, uh, you give us money. You can alone, your party can go and you can, they can declare you a victory. <coughs> it's called got up game. <coughs> like two pleader, friend. One pleader, one pleader fighting for another uh, client, they have some got up case. You can also take money from them. I can also take money from the got up case. We can make the case complicated so that you can take more money. I can got up case. You know, it is got up case. This is got up case actually. <clears throat> so Ramchandra wanted to go to exile. Ramchandra himself wanted to go to exile. If Ramchandra is not going to exile, who can kill Ravan? Who can do, kill Suponaka? 
who can kill, you know, eh, you know, follow what I say. You don't understand. If Ramchandra willingly wanted to go to forest, but cannot go directly, some issue should be there. What is that issue? Ramchandra, very small boy, with folded hand, with folded hand, coming in front of Koike. Mother, you love me, na? Very clever Ramchandra. With folded hand, with folded hand, with folded hand, Ramchandra going to reach the lotus feet of Mother Koike and asking, Koike kissing him, Mother, you love me, na? Yes, I love you. How much you love? Whatever you want, I can give you. How much you love, you can give me. I like to test you. How much you love me? But Ram, you can test me anyway. If you ask my life, I can give for you. Really so? Really so? Really so? Yes, really so. Really so. Really so. So I have one demand. You are supposed to get, you are supposed to get three benediction from my father, Dasharat. So could you please ask that benediction I am proposing you? What? You can ask to king, I mean Dasharat, my father, that uh, you like to make Bharat king and Ramchandra should be sent to exile for 14 years. Ha! Huh? How I cannot? You will have to ask, you told me. You told me you can do anything for me. Whole world can spit on me. Whole world can spit on me. If I, uh, but you told me you can do anything what I want. For me, you can bear anything you told me. Na? Whole world can hate you. Whole world can hate you, I know. But how much you love me. For me, you will have to bear it. Even your own son, Bharat, can spit on you. You can be here for me? Yes. Whole world can hate you. Because you send Ram, me, to forest. People can say, but be sure it is my desire. You will have to agree. You will have to agree. Nobody knows. Very secret. So, Koike is going to promise to Ramchandra. Nobody should know. Nobody should know the secret thing. Whole world can hate you. And no family man, no family man going to keep this name to their daughter. Koike. No daughter in the world. No daughter. No daughter in the world you can find whose name is Koike. Because everybody spit too. Because you're dirty you are. Going to send Ramchandra into exile? Nobody knows. After that, Ramchandra taking preparation to go to exile. In the meantime, Dasaraji Maharaj cannot bear. Dasaraji Maharaj cannot bear the separation of Ramchandra. Dasaraji Maharaj fall down on ground and leave body. Dasaraji Maharaj leave body. In separation of Ramchandra. Ramchandra is going to show his dutifulness. Ramchandra is going to show his dutifulness. Ramchandra is going to show his morality. Ramchandra is going to show his authenticity. Excellent morality. Ramchandra took preparation to go to forest. Sita Devi is speaking. I cannot live alone. <coughs> Shita Devi is speaking, I cannot live alone. I must go with you. Lakshman speaking, I am always serving you. How I can stay without you? I must go. So ultimately, three of them started for exile. First of all, Ramchandra took first of all, Ramchandra took decision to go to forest for 14 years. First of all, Ramchandra took decision to go to forest for five years. After that, Lakshman and Sitaji Maharaj, Sitaji, Lakshmanji Maharaj and Sita Devi, 
they also took decision. So all three of them going to forest. Going to forest. They are going to forest. And leading life in forest, different forest. Even Ramchandra reached Nasik, Pune. Different forest. About Ramchandra, please excuse me, I beg for pardon. Because I cannot explain properly, if you give me five hours, six hours time, not sufficient for me. Really, I like to say so many things, but time and situation cannot permit me. I am very sorry. After Harikatha, I become very sorry. I couldn't speak anything. I wanted to speak so many things. Someday I can discuss in details. Ramchandra going to forest. Remember, Ramchandra is Supreme Lord. Remember, Ramchandra is Supreme Lord, don't forget. But still, people are going to put some allegation against him. I can come to the point. Somebody speaking, the he'll, he love wife so much, is too much love for wife, wife is not good. People speaking, too much love, too much love for wife is not good, it is one kind of bondage. <laughs> too much love for wife is not good, it is one kind of bondage, people speaking. <laughs> but they don't know is Ramchandra. They don't know. He is Ramchandra Bhagavan. He eternal Sakti, Sita. Now I can speak one or two or three incidents. One day, one day, in front of, in front of Ramchandra, Sita Devi is there. On one golden, golden deer, one golden deer. I've been that way. I went there, it is in, it is in Andhra Pradesh, Udisha, I went there, three years back, dense forest, I went there, where Sita Devi was abducted, that place I went there, I took by in Godavari, I went there, three, four years back, anyway, in front of, Sita Devi and Ramchandra. Ramchandra Sita Devi in the garden and one golden golden deer running here and there. Sita Devi is speaking, I need, I need, I like to get that golden deer. Ramchandra is speaking, it is forest. Ramchandra is speaking, it is forest. So many demon, so many rakshas, they have their they have their black magic. So don't rely. No, no, I need that. She said they be putting force on Ramchandra. I want to get that deer. I, I can keep that deer as a pet deer, pet deer. Finally, what to do? Ramchandra, my, 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 my Sita, my Sita, please believe me. It is forest. He has so many witches, so many ghosts, so many, you know, rakshas, so many demons there. No, no, you will have to give. Then I'm just, well, you can stay here. I'm, I'm going to catch that deer. Then Ramchandra with bow and arrow running. Bow and arrow running and the deer also running. Follow. Deer running. When deer running, Ramchandra also running, his Supreme Lord. Going to apply one arrow. You need to apply one arrow. It was Marich. It was Marich, you know. The name of that the name of that Rakshas was Marich. And here, and here, you know, here, because those who are witch, you know, those who are demon, those who are Rakshas, they can do anything. In the, in the tone of Ramchandra, 
Just like the tone of Ramchandra. Just like the tone of Ramchandra. That, you know, marriage shouting, Oh Lakshman, Oh Lakshman, save me, speaking this. Actually, it is Maya. Actually, Ramchandra is not in trouble. But that marriage shouting, Oh Lakshman, Oh Lakshman, save me. Then Sitadu is speaking, Oh Lakshman, your brother is in trouble. Impossible. Your brother in trouble. You hear the sound. You go. I cannot go. By, because my brother uh, Ramchandra don't give me order. My brother told to stay me with you. Why? You can hear the sound. Ram, my, my husband in, in trouble. Your brother, your brother Ramchandra is trouble. Why not you go? You love me very much, na? You are attracted. Oof. What do you say? I think you is, as my mother. I never look at you. Lakshman never look at Ram. Lakshman never in whole life look at Sita Devi. Or looking looking the lotus feet of Sita Devi. But Sita Devi is speaking this way. Then Lakshman took decision to keep Sita Devi in a boundary. Boundary, you know? With his arrow, arrow, you know? With arrow, going to make one boundary. You keep inside this boundary. You stay inside this boundary. Don't go outside. No, no, I cannot go. You stay inside this boundary. I am going. Okay. So, new, so, around this orchard, around that orchard and bhajanasram, you make one boundary. And give warning, you cannot go outside. But when gone, when gone, Lakshman, then Ravan coming. Bhikshang Dehi. Then Sita Devi is going to give Bhiksha with one pot. Rice, chal, sabji, flower, fruits. I cannot take Bhikkha from inside that border. You will have to come outside. Because first of all, Ravan wanted to go inside that border. But whenever he wanted to cross that border, fire coming. He wanted to cross that border. When going to fire coming? I cannot take Bhiksha from inside that border. You will have to come you have to come outside that border and take give Bhiksha to me. Otherwise I'm going. Way, 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 way. I can give Bhiksha. After that, Sita Devi coming outside that border, the moment Sita Devi coming out of that border, Ravan arrest and forcefully ha 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 laughing and taking Sita and putting into chariot and flying. Sita crying, save me, save me, Lakshman, save me. Going away. It's flying car, no? They're, they're, they're flying car, chariot going away. Sita they be crying and crying, going to throw all his ornament, you know, all ornament, like bangle, nose ring, leg ring, or whatever ornament throwing outside in the forest. So that if by chance Ramchandra traveling through this forest can watch my ornament, can understand that Sita is now abducted. Follow what I say. This way, Sita was abducted. I am not going in detail. That was one issue. Because otherwise Ramchandra cannot kill Ravan. And Jatayu and Shampati. Shampati is a small brother. <coughs> two big, two big bird. One is Jatayu, one is Shampati. Shampati is the brother of Jatayu. Jatayu is, has a friendship with Dasharaji Maharaj. Jatayu, one bird, big bird, big bird. He is fighting with Ravan to stop his going. Jatayu fighting more and more to stop him so that he cannot abduct Sita. But ultimately, his wing, one wing was injured. He fell down, waiting. 
waiting for Ramchandra to meet, I am going to jump. <coughs> Finally, Ramchandra is going to meet with Jatayu. Jatayu explains everything, how Sita was abducted and how he become injured, his one wing of this way. Follow. Now I like to touch one Chaitanya Jordamita issue. When our Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to South India, when our Gauranga Mahaprabhu going to South India, there was South Indian Brahman. He is crying and crying, not cooking. Mahaprabhu speaking, you invite me, why you are not cooking? Well, actually, Ravan, the Rakshas, going to abduct my Sita Devi. So, in the feeling of separation, I cannot cook. I can collect some fruits and flowers. Then I am going to cut short. Then Mahaprabhu wanted to go away from that place in South Indian Brahmin society, South Indian Brahmin society. Mahaprabhu collect one book, different book, and Kurma Puran. From Kurma Puran, from Kurma Puran, is Mahaprabhu going to collect one evidence and going to come back to that Brahman again? And speaking, Sita Devi, Mahaprabhu coming back from South Indian troop, again going to that Brahman, South Indian Brahman, speaking, I get this evidence from Kurma Puran in the society of Brahman that Sita Devi never abducted by Ravan. I abducted by Ravan. No, it is false Siddhanta. Sita Devi is the eternal Shakti of Bhagavan. Ravan cannot see him. Ravan even cannot see Sita Devi. How to abduct? Then, 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 then what? But it is called, it is called one kind of black magic. It is called false Sita, false. It is called Maya Sita, Maya, you know? It is not actually Sita. From Kurma Puran, Mahaprabhu giving evidence, you see, it is written. Whenever Ravan came, Sita Devi took shelter of Agnidev. Sita Devi entered into Agnidev and Agnidev going to Agnidev going to Agnidev going to give forward, give forward one false Sita, false Sita, false. It is not actual Sita. Maya Sita Maya. It is written in Kurma Pura. When Sita Devi took shelter of Agnidev, because Ravan liked to arrest her, then immediately to save her chastity, immediately Sita Devi took shelter of Agni and vanished. And the false Sita, false Maya Sita was given in front of Ravan. Ravan going to arrest that false Sita. So many things. I have no time to discuss. So many things I wanted to discuss, but time cannot permit. You are always making late. You are not giving me time to discuss more details. Okay. Maybe next year I can discuss all, you know. Also, I like to speak some sloka from Bhagavatam, but I cannot speak. Deyam sada paribhavagnam avishtaduham Tethas padam siva virinchanutam saranyam Vetat yam pranotapal bhavat diputam Bande maha purusate charana rabinna Stakta dustaj surepsit rajalokshim Dharimista arja pachasa jadaga daranyam Maya migo deitap sitvam vadavadu Bande maha purusate charana rabinna this two slok applicable for Ramchandra. This two slok from Bhagavatam applicable for Ramchandra. This two slok applicable for Gaurchandra also. I cannot explain today. Two slok from Bhagavatam I speak. It is applicable for Ramchandra. But I cannot explain. Bancha Kalpatru was to keep us in the Bhavaja. Patang Pavan Pushna Bhyod. Sri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram Sri 
राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम श्री राम जय राम जय जय राम वाचा कल्पतरुष के पास पतितानंद पावन पुरुष